Now you won't believe what happened when a group of artists decided to take on one of the biggest brands in the world. I'm your host, Andre Minkoff, founder and CEO of Trademark Factory. Today, we're gonna to dive into a fascinating case that's been making waves in the fashion and intellectual property worlds. We're talking about the Vans versus Mischief or MSCHF infringement scandal where the iconic shoe company settled a massive lawsuit with art collective Mischief over a sneaker design that will make you question everything you thought you knew about trademark law. If you're curious about what happened, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Who is MSCHF? Mischief. They're an art collective known for pushing boundaries and challenging the status quo. And their latest project, the Wavy Baby Sneakers, was no exception. These shoes were designed to resemble Vance's classic old school design, but with a twist. They were a parody, a commentary on the fashion industry and the way we consume products. But Vans didn't see it that way. They saw it as a blatant infringement on their trademark. Now, let's take a closer look at the two designs. Can you spot the similarities? <laughs> yeah, well, it's pretty clear that Mischief's design was inspired, inspired by Vance's classic old school shoe. But was it too inspired? To understand this case, we need to dive into the world of trademark law. Trademarks are used to identify the source of a product or service, and they can take many forms like logos, brand names, or even product design. When it comes to product designs, we're talking about trade dress, the visual appearance of a product that's distinctive and recognizable. In the United States, trademark law is governed by the Langham Act, which prohibits the use of a mark that is likely to cause confusion among consumers. Mischief argued that their design was a parody intended to comment on the fashion industry and the hype surrounding certain shoe designs. However, Vans contended that the similarity between the two designs was too great, potentially leading consumers to mistakenly believe that wavy baby shoes were actual Vans products. In August of 2024, Mischief and Vans reached a settlement in their lawsuit over the disputed wavy baby sneaker, bringing a year-long trademark dispute to a close. As part of the agreement, Mischief has agreed to cease production and sales of the infringing product. The settlement also acknowledges Vance's ownership of its trademarks in the US with Mischief confirming their validity and existence. What can we take away from this case? First, it highlights the importance of trademark protection for brands. Vans has invested significant time and resources into building its brand identity. It's understandable that they would want to protect that investment. On the other hand, the case also raises questions about the limits of artistic expression and the role of parody in the fashion industry. One could argue that Mischief's wavy baby design was a legitimate form of social commentary meant to critique the fashion industry's obsession with hype and exclusivity. But but the law is clear. If a design is likely to cause confusion among consumers, it's not protected as a parody. And as always, I want to encourage you to think critically about the intersection of art, commerce, and law. Trademark law is in place to protect brand identities, but it's also important to consider the role of artistic expression and parody in our culture. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos on trademark law and intellectual property. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like to discuss, leave them in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll catch you in the next video.